So continuing on the different ways that we can filter in Power BI, we've got the ability to cross filter by selecting a bubble in a map or by um, using our slicer down here and selecting a continent. And there's another video that demonstrated the difference there. As you can see, there's no United States here when I filter on the slicer, but when I cross filter, the United States is still here. It's just lightened out. Now, another thing that we could do, and instead of maybe talking about population by continent, let's pretend we're talking about sales by sales territories or sales geographies, we can duplicate a page by right clicking on the tab. And we can call this Europe. And then we can call the visual global. Now we can create a dedicated Europe page and we could do it by using this slicer, uh, but then we're using this slicer and someone could come into the Europe tab and choose something else. It's not the best way to do it. So we're actually going to delete the slicer. We'll resize our card. And then normally you'll be see all of these panes. What we really want to focus on and we can minimize the visualizations and the data is this filter pane. And we can filter on a visual or we can filter on a page and these you know tabs down here are pages or filter on all pages so we just want to filter here on this page we want to drop in continent and we want to say europe now i can see that i've got you know, a Russia box here, a Germany box here, a France box here. Whereas when I go back to my main click on Europe, I just see you know, some other things gray out and I can't really drill in. There, if I click it here, then I do get this map, but Sorry, I was still cross filtered on Asia and then I picked Europe. So that's why the matrix didn't pop up. So now I basically got to this view here, but without the use of the slicer, I've just filtered on the page. So since I can do that, we don't really need the slicer here anymore. And then I can continue down this path of duplicating the continent page. So I can make one for South America, for example. And all I have to do is it'll be already be filtered from the Europe that I copied. So I will put it to South America by selecting South America and unselecting Europe. And now you can see, I can see how much Brazil or a particular sales rep in the Midwest region uh, makes up of my total of just this subpopulation. Where I was over here, Brazil is this light yellow, you know, that doesn't stand out. You can't really tell how much Brazil makes up South America until you come to this level of detail. So you just continue duplicating these tabs out for all the continents or sales areas or what have you. And then you do not need to use the slicer visualization because you've created each version of the report with a different page.